religious experience. The sky is less clouded than my conscience as I weave my way through hollow city streets. Steeples surround the city square affixed with crucifixes. I peer at empty pews, smiling beneath stained glass. But I turn away, opting instead of guilt for grass beneath my tired feet. I pass over asphalt, across glittering gravel. With liberating lightness, I allow my feet to choose their path. Each step moves broken rocks into singing song, singing symphonies of forgotten songs. Steeples of moss-covered cliffs adorn hollowed hills, wearing regal robes of frosted sage and ochre flowers. Holy water drips down crooked crags, while wind whispers humbling hymns into my eager ear. Thick carpeted aisles betwixt painted pews are replaced by sequined quilts of autumn colors, blanketing abounding breasts, pointing with their aged beauty into the azure blue sky. Twisted branches of yucca plants hold dried caskets of shaking seeds singing songs of rattler's tales when shook by blowing breeze. White moths flirt with fleeting winds whipping round my naked nape. Why is it amongst these sun-dried mountains I learn the meaning of escape, trading broken grass for a sun-dried grass beneath blistered feet and dusty soles, leaving behind the battleground for the salvation of sickened souls? I am hopeful and humbled by hopping grasshoppers and rust-red wildflowers. The vision of passing shadows over melded mountains melt into my memory for eternity. Forget the splintered steeples and their sunlit stained glass. I have found my place of worship on a mountain pass.